incredibly proud to, to be part of a, a group of people raising money for the Fred Hollows Foundation uh, because of all the many worthy things we could spend our money on and raise money for, I think the Fred Hollows Foundation has got some really special characteristics. I think number one is the fact that it makes people who are needlessly blind see. It's just such an obvious good that enables the individual to get work, to study, to care for their families. It has such an immediate practical benefit to the individual that uh, I think everyone can understand why that's so important. The second thing is that the Fred Hollows Foundation trains people in local communities all over the world and in parts of Australia to do the necessary surgery to help people who are blind to see. So it has a community development aspect. And then on top of that, they've also been involved in manufacturing in the nations where they do the helping, the little thing that they put in the eye to help the blind see. So they've managed to reduce the cost as well as empowering people locally with skills in order to make local people see. It, it, to me, it just ticks all the boxes. The other thing that's quite remarkable about uh, walking for the Fred Hollows Foundation as part of Coast Trek is the impact that our relatively small amounts of uh, money that we raise can make. Uh, as an individual, we make a commitment when we walk with Coast Trek to raise $400. And that can support an optometrist to screen people in many countries and identify people who can benefit from the help of the Fred Hollows Foundation. For the whole team, you raise a minimum of 1600 and this can employ a lid surgeon in a country uh, that can help thousands of people to see. So to us in our Western world, relatively small amounts of money that we can raise from our friends and family and various activities can just have the most astonishing impact. Look, every individual and every team is different when it comes to raising money for, for Coast Trek. But I guess my personal <laughs> top tips for raising money is to use the little messages that we get from the Fred Hollows Foundation. Once you sign up, they send you like little templates and I personalise them. Personally, I make them much shorter and I add in some personal feelings and ideas and I mail them, email them regularly to a large cross-section of friends, family and professional colleagues. And I'm totally unembarrassed about doing that. And I'll tell you why. I have found over a number of years being involved with Coast Trek, like, like six or seven years for me, that people really respect the Fred Hollows Foundation. They really know about it. They essentially know it makes the blind see. They know that it takes relatively little money to make a huge difference in people's lives who are needlessly blind and they're keen to give if they can. The second thing I've learned is I don't get upset if someone doesn't give to me, even if they're a close friend, because none of us really know what each other are doing when it comes to donations. So let go of all your anxieties and regularly send out those little templates modified uh, to, to make them personal to you and your team. I've also personally got very involved with Facebook and with Twitter. Tweeting is relatively new for me, but I've learnt that you can attach images or documents to the very short message. It's not just a few little words. You can put on pictures and documents as well. And that's another great way to get the word out about you and your team and what you're doing. And I am classically into Facebook. I post I overpost, I'll be honest with you. But I've found people very responsive on Facebook. And of course, as they repost again and again and again, your message goes viral and really gets out there. But to be honest with you, I've relied exclusively on regular targeted emails, doing lots of photos of me and my teammates training all over uh, the trail that we're going to walk and, and, and uh, uploading them onto my uh, website and often sometimes including those pictures in the emails that I send out. And people are so amazed to see us out there walking red faced with walking poles in my case that I think they feel genuinely moved to give money. And, and I haven't found it hard to get more than is required. Uh, you know, people really support Coast Trek and we have quite a high profile now in the media, so people tend to know what it is. So good luck. <laughs>
When it comes to how I feel when I'm actually walking in Coast Trek, it is one of the most thrilling parts of my life. I think it's because I'm out in nature and walking out in wild places in ever-changing terrain with a bunch of like-minded people to raise money for a good cause, it causes a, a, a huge buzz uh, and adrenaline rush within your body, but it's a, a kind of a deep spiritual thing as well. I've been involved with Wild Women on Top, the people behind Coast Trek for a long time, and they have enhanced the quality of my life uh, beyond my wildest imagining. You know, this is something you will enjoy and remember for the rest of your life. So get involved in Coast Trek, you won't be sorry.